Hey guys, I'm gonna do a short tutorial here about blend shapes. Uh, first, we're gonna grab a cube. Uh, we're gonna go here. We're gonna select, change this, uh, change the segments down to one. And we're gonna select a wireframe just so that we can see what's going on with our cube. started here. All right, we want to first um, we want to go ahead and um, choose our post morph tag. We're going to select our points right here and we're going to go ahead and name these. Uh, you can just go ahead and do this. Uh, we're going to name this up name one down and then we're going to name our other pose uh, left and our other pose we will name that right I'm going to try to make this video short and simple so you guys can get a good understanding of how to do blend shapes Going to go into our front view and for our up pose, I'm going to go ahead and grab our selector, pull this up a notch about right there, right, right there, right there is good. And we want to go ahead and show you how this works. Right, that's looking good, that's looking good. All right, we're going to go ahead and do our down pose now. We got the we got our point selected. And we're gonna go down to here. That's good. And we also are locking these so that they won't move. So that's the whole point of locking it to make sure it's locked in place. You know? And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, do our left pose. lock that in place and we're going to do our right pose voila right there and we're going to lock this all right we got everything here everything here looks good back to normal we're going to go back to our uh, perspective view everything looks good here so first we want to go ahead and, and we want to put our, our post morph tag back to animation. So we're going to bring these down just to put everything back into normal position. And go ahead and get this uh, set up, all set up for blend shaping. And there's so many things that you can do with, uh, with this. Uh, blend shaping me working with this cube just give you a bit of an idea of the many 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 possibilities that can be done with this uh, just use your imagination guys that's what it's all about being creative so what we're going to do we're going to grab our we're going to grab our, uh, our rectangle here wire and we're going to change this uh, to two, we're going to change the width and the height to 200. Let me just drag this over here, and we're going to go ahead and make a duplicate of this. Let's, let's name this first. Let's name this frame, and we're going to go ahead and duplicate this. All right, there we go. And we're going to name this the controller. Good. And we're gonna bring this down to 10 centimeters on the width and 10 centimeter, 10 centimeters on the height. And we're gonna go ahead and look at this. Let's see how everything is looking. Everything's looking good. We're gonna go ahead and parent the controller to the frame, and we're gonna create a null for both of them. So that if we want to move this thing around without a problem or resize it, 
should not be a problem at all. And we're gonna go ahead and frame this, call this, uh, name this and call this frame controller. All right. Now, if I go over here to the, uh, the object mode, you can see that with my frame controller selected, I can bring this down, scale it down, move it where I want to, and we're gonna open it up and we're gonna select that controller. And as you can see, the controller moves around outside of the box. And that's because we need to uh, put a protection tag on our controller. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna go here, we're gonna go in the, uh, in the protection tag and we're gonna go ahead to limit options and we're gonna give this a negative 100 over here we want to make this a 100 positive and then sit here on the y-axis we want to make uh, this negative uh, 100 and over here we want to make this uh, 100 all right that's all done now as you can see my controller stays within my perimeter within the box all right even when I hit the PSR constraint you see it always goes right back to the middle position and this is what we like about this option so much it's great all right and we're going to go ahead and give this color i want to make this red uh, just so you can see the frame good you see it and then we're going to our controller we're going to make our controller green yeah let's make it let's make it green let's make it neon green you see it all right, looks good, looks good, looks good. All right, guys, we're gonna get, get in through this. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna uh, open up my Espresso editor, and I'm gonna drag in my controller. Let's move this up so we can see this a little bit better. All right, let me expand this a little bit. And I'm gonna take my order go to coordinates in my controller position and we're going to select the y position and we're going to go back in and select the i'm sorry the x and then we're going to select the y position all right so here we go so basically the x and the y position is what you want so basically now we're going to go to our post bar and we're going to bring that into our espresso window we're going to go to uh, tag properties and we're going to select we're going to select that tag properties and we're going to go and just bring in all of our strengths our, all of our uh, strengths that we're going to use because the strength is where it's set so we got our down strength we got our uh, our, our left strength up strength up strength down strength left and right strength all right, now we're gonna need a range mapper. You know, and the range mapper is gonna complete this. The range mapper is gonna complete all of this. So what we're gonna do is bring our range mapper in. Make sure everything is still working the way it should. And we are going to select, bring this over here, drop it, and bring that there to up strength. And let's test it and see what's going on. See what we got. Let's see what we got. Oh my God. Let's bring this down here to Y because we want to go up and down. Since we're going to make we're going to make our our uh, up strength. So when we move our controller up, the cube will go up. Make everything just work smoother like that. And it's it needs to be um, just worked up, worked out a little bit over in the range mapper window. So we're going to change this to a hundred. Change this to a hundred. Just take a look at it. Uh, just take your time with this, guys, and get your good figures and stuff like that. Right? I'm gonna change this to a negative. Uh, that's not it. Mm, negative. Hmm. Sorry about that, guys. I should have had this worked out. Just give me a moment to take a look at this. 
and we will get through it. That's what I like about this. We're having a problem right now so that you guys can see how we uh, work things out, work our way through them. Um, all right, let's check. Uh, oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Let's take this to percentage. We're gonna make this uh, 100%. And let's take a look at it and see what we got going. Uh, of course, we're not gonna have everything working now. Let's reconnect it back up. Okay, we got a little bit of an issue here. Let's make this a negative 100. And let's take a look at it and see what we got going. All right. Okay, we still here is go back, let's back, back, get in back, there. Back, back. It's doing what we want so far, but we need we need our cube to go up instead of down when we move our controller up. So that's the issue that we have right now. So basically we just want to reverse this and see what we got going. So let's name this negative 100 and here's 100. And let's see what we got. Oh, still not right. Okay. What we do, we name this one. And here we go, this is it. This is what we want. It's looking good. So, guys, you see how we just worked our way through that and pulled through. Going to do this together, guys. Right? Champion me on. All right, let's go ahead and uh, duplicate this, and we will bring that over to our range macro, and we're going to draw this to our down string. Um, more than likely, nothing is going to be working right now, so what we're going to have to do is do what we did with the top range member in reverse, basically the opposite way. So let me go ahead and clamp down um, the upper, and we're going to make this zero, and we're going to give ourselves negative 100 here and 100 here and we should be good to go all right looks good looks good so now you're seeing how the blend blend uh share is working because basically when i go down with the cube and then once i get middle ways and i start going up the up strength is taking over when the down strength is coming back to its neutral position. Same thing what we're gonna do for, for those two, we're gonna do for our right and left strengths. So basically, I'm just gonna duplicate this and go ahead and hook everything up the same way, basically. So, let's go ahead and connect this here. You know what? Actually, it goes back to the where it should have been at the first time. Hey guys, I don't have my thinking cap on today. All right, so here we go. We got this going. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. All right, we're just gonna connect our range mapper to our left string, and we still have to add the uh, X position to our range mapper to complete that and voila, there we go. Alright, so now you're, you're seeing how the blend shape works and it looks good, it looks good, everything is looking good. Alright, there we go guys, we got the blend shape. Go ahead and straighten this out a little bit so that you know we can make it look all fancy for y'all, you know. But yeah, so this is how you want things to be set up when you're doing blend shape. 
Uh, as you can see, like I said earlier, you probably can see all the magical uses that you guys would have with this. All the great things and the great fun, so much fun you could have with this. Just want to go ahead and give this a color. My favorite color is blue. So, yeah. So, have fun working with this, guys, and uh, good luck on the projects. And um, if you have any more ideas as far as uh, other tutorials, any other things that you want to see uh, using Cinema 4D, um, leave it down in the comment section. And um, I'll do what I can, guys, to. Uh, to make that tutorial and get it out to you, you know, I don't mind helping you guys out, so, um, let's go ahead and get those tutorials, you know, let me know what you want done, and, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and hook up, hook that up for you, you know, and, you know, we can have some fun together, so, go ahead, and, uh, like, share, subscribe for more videos, don't be afraid to contact me and leave a uh, thumbs up or thumbs down in the video. You know, if you like this video, like it. If not, let me know. Hey, whatever. I'm pretty, uh, I'd be glad to hear your thoughts. So, thanks for watching. Good luck and have a great day.